Hi everyone, my name is Abdul Wahid Jum'a. I'm the Executive Vice President of Communication at Do. The challenges of 2021 in the telecom sectors are many, and we can speak about the aggressive competitions from the OTT providers, providers who are giving out-of-the-box solutions for each and every customer, touching their day-to-day -day life, and by default, they are fighting and they are taking away from the pie of the telecommunications. It's not a traditional challenge or competition anymore. It's a competition with everyone around. Marketeers will have to find a way of micro-marketing to different segments and yet keeping the fast pace. Consumers in 2021 are the same consumers in 2020, but more aggressive. They are more demanding. They want it and they want it now. They don't expect delays and having the habit of requesting or ordering stuff online, they are expecting the brand to be agile, to be fast, and to deliver when they want. They are less tolerant about mistakes. And I have to say that loyalty is a myth that we don't have anymore because the minute they would see a mistake from a brand, they will jump to the next one. When I'm asked about the budget and the budget questions, first of all, the budget is being set as we speak in most of the companies. Some have started earlier, some are finalizing it now. So the Marcom and marketing budget is normally gonna be more or less a budget of 2019 or 2020. And this is not really the question that we should be asked. The question that I believe we should be asked is the allocation of that budget. As well, the pandemic and the 2020 was a unique year where all of the media mix was changed. At the beginning, people rushed to the digital and nearly 100% of the budget was in the digital. And then after the lockdown was eased and released a little bit, the media mix started to come again into the traditional media and non-traditional media. The challenge of the budget in 2021 will be to find the right media mix where you are not missing out on the customers, you can reach them on the digital, but at the same time, you are not missing out on the visibility of your brand wherever you are going into the physical area. Expectation from the media partners. What are we expecting from media partners? The first expectations that we are expecting from them is to abandon the traditional media buying. Uh, what do I mean by abandoning the traditional media buying? We have been thinking uh, of media buying in a very traditional way, meaning that I will get the brief, I will get the target audience, I will get that brief and target audience, and try to match uh, that with the media that I have to deliver a message and that message hopefully will get back to me in a return of investments and my product will be moving. The new media buying segments or media buying departments have to think about partnerships, have to think about different verticals. Uh, for example, have to think of how to match telecommunications with banking, how to match automotive with telecommunications how to match a campaign and how can we see as a consumers in the market a campaign that actually targeting me in a multi-message. Uh, for example, a credit card that have a telco business. It's targeting me as a credit card, but at the same time it have telco benefits. This is not new to the market, but I think 2021 and beyond will have to see this much, much more. The question about our message and how is our message is gonna change in 2021. I don't believe companies change their message from a year to another. I believe the message keep on refined and enhanced. And in our case, our message will be enhanced. It will be mainly about customer experience. It will be mainly about a day-to-day -day life with our customers. Customer experience in each and every touch point have to be better and have to demonstrate that we care because our brand is all about care. We came two years back and we said that we are a brand that care. And now is the time, I believe 2021 is the time to walk the talk. Thank you.